Hey guys, and welcome back to... I was going to say Cold Fear then, but no, this is Carrier. When we last left off, I believe we got both of the discs that we need to progress, which would be nice. We still don't have any new weapons, just stuck with our handgun. Which is okay. The handgun's pretty badass, to be honest. Um, right, so, yeah, we did open that door up that way, didn't we? So we need to go this way. Come on, Tom. I think your name was Tom. I can't remember now. This is a new play session. Um, right, we need to go through straight ahead, apparently. Nice. Okay, so what happens when we use these discs? Oh! Hello. Who are you? I'm with the team sent by NTA. Really? Uh, so we can maybe. get out of here? It's impossible as long as the intercept system is active, but I'll take care of it. Yes, sir. You go up to the flight deck and wait for rescue. And he's not going to do that, though, is he? He's going to just stand there like a bell end. Maybe he's going to follow us around? I'm not sure. No, he's cool. He's just going to stand there. Cool. Uh, what's the betting that everybody up on the flight deck is going to be horribly murdered soon? Probably quite high. That would be my guess, anyway. Alright, what's in here then? Oh, hey, sir. Oh! Fuck you. Get out of here. See, look, some of them melt away. And some of them don't. That's where my confusion comes in, because... Oh yeah, we've got loads of bullets, which is good. Yeah, so I'm not sure what's going on. I mean, some of them melt away, some of them don't. I'm guessing the ones that don't melt away are going to come back and bite us in the arse. I'm not sure. Oh, and I apologize if you can hear any fireworks or whatever, but it is the 5th of November. Let's go back out here and see if that corpse is still on the floor. You know, for science. Unless they continue... To mutate. Can't see. No, they don't. Okay, so yeah, not sure why some of them boil away and some don't. Really strange. Okay, we're not going to worry about that too much. Yeah, not a huge fan of the goggles. I mean, I like the idea of the goggles, but the execution for the goggles is questionable at best. All right, so we've got number two here, Lel. Oh, wait, hang on. That just... Is this the way we're meant to be going? <clears throat> it's been a few days since I've actually played this. Yeah, because... Uh, this was back to the flight deck. And if this elevator is out of action... Then... How's everyone getting back up? Port side elevator. Yeah. There's our friend, Leonard's brain. Or at least I think that's just his hat, to be fair. Let's see if this works now. No response. Right, so how's everybody else getting up to the flight deck if the uh, elevator is out of action? Huh. I have no idea. Right, okay. That complicates things uh, just a little bit. So, where are we going, then? I guess all these flashy bits are just elevators, I suppose. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Very long day at work today. <clears throat> First day of the new UK lockdown. And, well, let's just say work really sucks. Really sucks. Still have to work 11 hours. And there's nothing to do. But aimlessly walk around town. Uh, never mind. Right, well, I mean, I guess we've cleared the area out. So that's something. Let's go back. We do have the two new cards. But I can't remember where we're meant to use them. I thought... Mm, there's nothing in here. Oh, are you still here, dude? Go quickly. Seriously, dude? 
No, don't don't oh, talk to this guy. This guy's a bit soft. Uh, right, so that's the medical. So where the hell do we do we go then? Um, all right, there are weapons. So what? Right, activation disc. To deactivate the partition lock on deck one. Right. So, we are on deck one. So, where is the partition lock that we need to deactivate? Ah. Possibly the flashing red door. Let's try the, the flashing red door. That could indicate the uh, lock, you know. What's that dude just going to, like, aimlessly wander around? Like, absolutely no fucks given? Uh, was it through here? No, a little bit further on. I like the way the blood splatters don't disappear. That's kind of weird. Um, you know. So, we can see where combat has happened. Let's go back through the locker room. I wonder if we're going to find any monsters to waste on the way. Because if we... Oh, right. Uh... So, we've got you. What is kind of annoying, actually, is... Right, you can get the hell back. Yeah, that's still being knocked around. I'm guessing that's going to be a boss or something. Yeah, what's annoying is, with the goggles, they take so long to actually come on and start working. Main passageway. Yeah, look at that. So, what's that? Let's count, shall we? One, two, three. About, about three. Oh, no. It's closer to five seconds before it actually clears. And you can see what you're looking looking at. Um, that's basically useless in a combat situation. Let me just put... No, we're good. Let me just put my goggles on a minute. Stop shooting at me. Oh, fuck. Dude. 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 Not cool. Well, I mean, the invisible dudes we can actually see. Which is interesting. Are you getting up? You're not getting up. He's fucked, Jim. He's fucked. Alright. So, we need to go through here. Did we go? Yeah. Yeah, we did go through the other door. We must have. So I guess enemies do respawn. Maybe it's a little bit like Resident Evil. As you make progress, a few enemies get sprinkled around. Right, I thought I heard someone. But I guess it was just us. Uh, ooh. Security system is locked and won't open. Uh, necessary to deactivate the partition. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Where do we use those? Do we have to give them back to Matey Boy? I thought we just um, had to pick them up and give them back to Matey. But we have tried giving them back to Matey Boy, haven't we? Is there anything through here? So there's a lift down there that we can fiddle with. What was in here? Uh, radio control room, yeah. I mean, there's a save room here, so might as well make use of it whilst we're here. Uh, sure, why not? Okay. There's nothing we can do in here. Interesting. So, is there anything else out here, then? I thought we just had to go back and talk to the dude. Oh. Dude. Alright, well, I don't know where he is. Um... Right. Is 
So you got the medical room, security room. See, it makes sense to go back to the security room, but I'm sure we tried that. The guy was just like derping around. I guess we can try it again. If I get stuck too long, I will skip ahead. But... Yeah, because the guy actually did ask us for two discs. I can't remember what he said. Like, whether he said, come back to me, which I, I thought he did. Or, or maybe there's a computer in here somewhere. And man, that is so... You back up. Dude, we're going to have to talk about your persistence. And how it's not really acceptable. Right, you've lost your head now. So if you could kindly stay fucked, that would be great. And there's lots of moths around. Yeah, man, that is so obnoxiously loud. I mean, it, I guess it makes sense, right? It's a bloody great big beastie trying to, like, break through. But, you know, I mean, come on. Uh, right, let's go talk to our friend. Hey, dude, I've got your keys, man. Security room. Gotcha. Really? Here are the activation really? Places. Yes. Thanks. Yes, what, what a, a pain. pain indeed. <sighs> what a dick. Coffee's way too hot to drink. Jesus. Okay, now we've got to go all the bloody way back. Now, I want to check yes. one more thing. Thought I might, uh, might happen. Good, because our ammo supplies were dwindling a little bit. Let's save it now and we've actually, like, you know, opened the fucking doors. Oh, seriously? Like, I could have sworn we actually tried to talk to that guy. But he was having none of it, son. What a nutsack. That's fine. Right, let's go. Now, notice that there's some random... Uh-oh. It looks like the damage has spread. The damage. Captain, go. At this rate, the damage will spread <laughs> uh, even more. Well, uh, yes. What is this behind him, actually? Did we search that? A rack for machine guns. All the gu oh, God damn it. Where are all these damn machine guns? So what damage has spread? I mean, I know there's an explosion in the engine room. Uh, are they talking about the weird green moss? Oh, look. We've got zombies. Come on. There we go. A little bit off the top, mate. Yeah, you know we're making progress because now we've got bad nicks everywhere. Uh, was it through there? Yeah, it was through there. This area is probably going to be shit high with uh, bad nicks now, but that's fine. Maybe the plant's going to break through and like eat our face. That would be awkward. But, you know, I kind of see that happening. Oof. Oh, man. Yeah, that's definitely getting worse. I don't think there was debris falling from the ceiling before. That's bad. That's really bad. Anybody home? Anybody in the main passage? Nah. Not yet, anyway. Yep. We've got hostiles. Danger? Who's danger? Who's danger? Where is danger? Danger? Is that you? Ah, hey, sir. I haven't seen a zombie for a while. Nice. Alright, standard generic zombie. That's nothing to worry too much about. Our ammo is dwindling, though, slowly. Not even that slowly, to be fair. You alright, buddy? Deactivate the intercept system. You gotta go to the weapons yes. control room on deck six. Amen. Yeah, dude, yeah. you should probably, like, you know, regroup somewhere. I'm just saying, like, standing here in this corridor is probably not safe. Do you even have a gun? Oh, hey, friend. Oh, you're ugly. 
Jesus. I think there's a cream for that. Been hitting the Jesus juice a little bit too hard. Oh, hey friend. Come and play. Come on. There you go. Oh, shot him right in the nuts. No, dude. You've been shot in the nuts. I know. You should never shoot anyone in the dick, but, you know. Oh, hey, friend. One round to the arm took him out. Really? Nah. I was going to say, I didn't think so. Come on. Go for headshots. Oh, God. We've got a target-rich environment here, boys. These things are definitely related to plants. At least they seem to be. We are absolutely tearing through these bullets. Which, you know, I guess is what it is, but... Alright, we're good. It's locked. What? We, we don't have a... Do we have a code? Do we have a code? Uh, right. Ah, shit. We did have a code, didn't we? Um... Where is... Data, I guess. Binders. Memos. No memos. Discs. Uh. Hmm. Well, that's a kick in the bollocks. Zoe is damaged. Zoe is damaged, I should say. Uh, shit. And the game... Oh. Oh. Right. Uh, and the game doesn't appear to save codes or anything. Um... Well now, that's a massive pain in the penis. Uh, one second, guys. I'll sort this out. I'll sort it out. Alright, <clears throat> and we're back. So, apparently the code... Yes, I looked it up. The code is... Five... Three... Zero... One, I believe. Was it five, one, three? Yeah. Okay. Apparently, we we are meant to find that on somebody's body, but uh, I was unaware of such a code. Or maybe we did find a code a few days ago, and I just forgot about it. Also, the welder is a weapon. And from what I can un... Oops. I'm, uh... I'm going to reload that. Because I just, uh... I just welded this gentleman's face. And, um... Yeah. Yeah. I just guess we can kill survivors, guys. Right. One second. Hey, guys. Right. Just uh, a word of warning. I've obviously reloaded the game, and I thought I'd give this welder a go, as apparently it's a gun. I thought we'd use it to cope in doors or something. But uh, no, it's a gun, and it's actually pretty bloody effective. Uh, so... I might use this a little bit more, to be honest. It's 
yeah, surprisingly effective. Uh, it's making me question the usefulness of the gun. I mean, I guess the gun has a longer range, but... Like, this thing's not bad, considering. So, let me see. I mean, it welded that civilian face... The civilian's face off. Which is quite impressive in its own right. Now, it's quite a slow weapon. Oh. So, we might have trouble... Yeah, look. Three shots. Three shots. Like. Huh. Interesting. I wish I'd known about this. Like, how seemingly useful this weapon is, at least. Now, this would be an interesting test for it. Dude McDouchebag. Is having a bit of a wander around, so that's fine. He can wander. We we'll let him wander. Right. Let's see how effective this is here. I mean, dude. Dude. Oh. It's certainly good enough. Like, we might as well save the pistol, I suppose. Considering we have, like, an unlimited ammo weapon here, it's making me curious. Did we just, we just, like, no, we did not one-shot him. Kind of came close, but no. Right, let's get some distance. The range on this thing's pretty good, to be honest. Like, it's, it's adequate, you know? Alright. Right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, you bastards. Let me weld your face back together, dude. It's on the house, man. There you go. What do you think of that? Some nice hot plasma to the face. Ooh, little fucker. I don't think so. Yeah, don't you fucking touch me, pal. I'm gonna weld your face. There you go. Look at that. Yeah, you melt away. Holy crap. Why have I been using the pistol all this time? Have I just, like, wasted shit tons of ammo that I'm going to really regret? And i got to remember what the code is now. Uh, there we go. Thanks, Steve. I don't know who Steve was, but <clears throat> we got the code off his body. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. All right, Jack. Let's keep going. Ooh, fuck me. Who are you? Spark Team, put down your gun. Spark Team? I, I, I you human. Think, what? I think so. Really? Yes, put down your gun. I don't know. You can't trust anyone and here. And he puts his gun down anyway. Tell me what happened. Where did the mutants come from? I don't know. Very convincing. They just appeared. Hmm. We'll search the ship. For now, go to the flight deck and wait for help. Yeah, be careful. Even if it looks like a human, Is that take a hint? care. Thanks. You get to the flight deck safely. Yeah, sorry about, like, in another reality, melting your face off. You know, shit happens, buddy. Uh, okay. So, let's go down to deck two, I guess. That's pretty weird. Just opens open up the door and he's just staring at you he doesn't actually talk to you or anything so you just like laser his face into oblivion there's no penalty for killing people i mean like maybe if you save everybody or you don't save enough do you get a different ending i don't know to be honest i have no idea ah. are you a human are you a robot uh Okay, may I... Eddie, what's going on? Eddie? I think Eddie's dead. Eddie, what's going on? Why is your brain leaking, Eddie? Uh, you have to love these games. Uh, ooh, ah, there's a save room here. Jeez, guys, do you think this could be a bit of a boss coming up? I've no idea. 
I'm going to assume there are bosses in this game. Um, I, I have no idea. Eddie, your brain! What happened to your brain, Eddie? Right, do we have to climb up on that? I don't know if we can actually push anything. Did Eddie have anything for us? Eddie. We'll always remember you, Eddie. Uh, maybe we can blow these up with a bomb, maybe. Um... Right, let's give these a go. Boop. Run! Uh, yes. Uh, I guess we can. Those explosions as well, man. They're pretty rad for the Dreamcast. They're very cool. This fucking laser uh, welder thing, though. Seriously? How do we not know about this? I mean, why bring a knife when you can bring an unlimited plasma welder? I don't know what I'd rather have. Oof. Oof. Ooh. Oh, shit. And you corpse motherfuckers. Get out of here, sir. I mean, honestly. Do you expect anyone to take you seriously? You're just half a man. Dude. Dude. Thank you. Yes, yeah, right. You better melt. Oh, God. Oh, man. These things are everywhere. These are like what Predator left behind. Come on. Fry his ass. Um, right. Well, I mean... What's this way? Can we even go this way? I guess we can. I mean, there's nothing here, apparently. Ooh. What are we looking at, exactly? It's the only trouble with the goggles, I think. Like, it shows you danger, but... Like, you don't know what the danger is. Uh, must be that eyeball thing. All right, well, let's go laser the eye. There you go. Blinded you, bastard. <laughs> Me and my welder. To world or not to world? Oh, hello. There you go, friend. Have some ser- oh god, oh god, danger close. Ow, 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 ow. Right, let's just see if we can- oof. Oh, we've got something going on in here. Oh god, right, yeah. Those flytrap things are pretty rough. I'm hoping we're saving as much ammo as I think. Those things are annoying. Look, do I look like a fucking blue bottle to you, mate? Well, actually, don't answer that, because I'm wearing blue uniform, so... Oh, fuck me. Puppet master. You can almost see your strings then, matey. Right, how much damage? Ooh, we took a decent amount of damage there, actually. Puppet master. Son of a bitch. Uh, we have aircraft here. Level two, level two energy drinks. Okay, cool. I mean, sure. Uh, so, what do we do here then? We will blow something up. Can we examine this? Yep, yeah, we've already checked that, Jack. I'm just saying, buddy. All right, well, I mean... <sighs> There appears to be two things here, and one of those is... Oh, no, don't go through... Ah, there's another door behind us. Or is... No, we haven't been through this door yet. No, we have not, I don't think. Oh. Jack, what's your current position? Sir, I've just arrived at deck two. Do you have the bombs? Yes, sir. Good. Ahead of you is an elevator used to raise and lower planes. Use it okay. to go to deck two. Okay. Roger. Is anybody else? Oh, fucking hell. What the hell was that? Is anyone else concerned that this... Oh, shit. Spiders. 
concerned that this place seems to be overgrown with plants. And uh, there's bodies in the plants, apparently. That is a thing. We're also out of time. Now, these eyeballs are looking at us. Is this like ooze self aware? Is this ooze going to come to life and like try and kick us in the sacks? So it kind of feels like that's what the game's been doing up until this point. It's like non stop kicking us in the sacks. I suppose we've got pretty big sacks. Why do I keep saying sacks? Such a funny word, sacks. Oh, spiders. I mean, I think they're spiders. Kind of hard to tell, to be honest. Oh, ah, oh, look at that. It's like maggots on it. Yeah, it's pretty impressive detail for the time. I mean, Code Veronica certainly like pushed the boat out when it came to the details, but this is this is this is doing pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty nice. At least we can look ahead by using these goggles, but it just doesn't f Ooh, feel good to do it. I don't know, Jack. What the hell was that? Whatever it oh, was, it must be good. big. Goody bloody gumdrops. Well, I mean, we have spiders. Oh, God, is it going to be like a big spider thing? It's going to, like, feast on our face. That would be awkward. I'm not going to lie. If that's a thing that happens. Oh. It's the doctor. Does the doctor know that there's like a giant plant next to him? Hey, what are you doing? You? I'm activating the elevator. Uh, yeah, Doc, there's like a big plant behind you. I got it. It's too dangerous. Get away from there. He's just like, oh, somehow I didn't see that massive fucking fly truck. Oh, God. Well, I mean, that was just stupid. I mean, this game is so far is hilariously stupid. Jack, we might want to, like, start fighting. Yeah. Uh. Oh. Okay. So. How does this work, then? Not like that, I guess. Apparently, that really hurts. Yeah, that really hurts. Uh, right, might want to put the taser gun away. Let's grab the bombs. Uh, one of those should be good. There you are, pal. Here, have one of them. Apparently that doesn't do much. Apparently. We like. Okay. Okay, we've got to hit him in like his um. cock thing. I guess. Right, let's start using an actual gun, shall we? No, I want to. But it might be an idea. Uh. Right, hide behind this impenetrable thing. Look, can you just like shoot him, please? Okay, cool. Wait for him to expose himself. Although, apparently... Right, there we go. Alright, dude. Come on. It's getting a bit silly now, my friend. Let's see your innards. Do we have to... Okay, I think we have to, like, shoot him in the tentacles. Does that make sense? I mean, kind of, not really. Not quite understanding how this is going to go down. Ah, oh, dude. 
Right, okay. I mean, the gun doesn't really appear to be doing much of anything right now. Uh, pretty sure we could probably accomplish that with this. Alright, the only difference is... In fact, this is easier to shoot these little spidery bastards with, so... Let's roll with that. Yeah, much easier to shoot those with. Alright, cool. Alright, let's get the tickle gun out again. Is there like... Is there science behind this? I don't know if there's science behind this. I don't know how to hit him. Does that hit him? Oh, that hits him. Yeah, that'll, that'll do it. Alright. I mean, okay. It's not great. Definitely not great, actually. Right, so he's got a very short range, apparently. Uh, dude? Right, run. Alright, so we're just going to play this, are we? Oh, God, he doesn't like that. Yeah, shooting him right in the tip. He doesn't like his tip being tickled. So we're just going to tickle him in the tip. Cool. Dude. Alright, so you can still hit the main body of the plant. Just apparently... We do a lot more damage if we hit him in the tip. Dude, yeah, okay, stop fondling me. How much damage does that do? Not a lot, really. Cool. Ne- Oi, oi. Yeah, the tentacles are hurting. Alright. I guess that's somewhat good to know. I thought we could aim at the tentacles. Am I mistaken? I guess I'm mistaken. Alright. Let's go through the... Oh, that hurts. Yeah, have that. We're going to jump out and tickle his uh, tip every now and again, I guess. That's the name of the game. All right, buddy. Let's see that little inside dingly of yours. No? All right. Well, I mean, I guess this is where the spiders are coming from. I mean, I'm not sure why the spiders are coming from this big plant thing. But then, I'm not really sure I care. To really study these things, to be honest. Right, there we go. Yeah, this taser thing is, like, so much better. Uh-oh. Than the handgun. It's more satisfying to use as well. I don't know why. I think it's the comedy value of it. It's just funny. The fact that we've got, like, an arc welder that has unlimited ammo. And it actually does a decent bit of damage as well. And unlike the handgun, this actually, like, locks on and aims at things. Also, this boss... This boss is, like, pretty weak source. I mean, is it is it fair to call that a boss? Oof. Well, we welded his problem shut anyway, so... Sucks to be him, I guess. But he did eat the good doctor. And that cleared that up pretty well. I can't believe how good this welder is. Like, it, it fires slow. But <laughs> it seems to put the damage out. Kind of an interesting choice to give you a unlimited ammo ranged weapon. Even if the range is fairly short. Midship elevator. Right. Good stuff. Let's go. I feel like we're making some real progress now, Milados. Even though if we are on almost 50 minutes. Uh, 40 minutes, I should say. <laughs> Sounds, like a fight. Sounds like a fight! Right, what's in the box? T7 bombs. Uh, I mean... Oh, and more! Wait, what? Okay, can we just keep searching this? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Hey, I'm, I'm... Wait, is that just like... Let's have a look. Maybe... Alright, let's... 
drink one of those. Okay, right, I get it. So you can get an unlimited amount of those bombs from there, I guess. Oh. Don't come any closer. Die, monster. Uh, dude, you know, if you, like, shoot them in the head, you know what, we'll just do this. Or just use a welder, like I'm doing. Like so. It's way more efficient than using a little handgun. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Who are you? I'm part of Spark. What happened here? I don't really know, but weird things have been happening ever since we loaded that strange package on an island in the South Pacific. Strange package? Hmm, I see. I'll check it out. You get up to the flight deck. Okay, but be careful. Anything could happen on this ship. Here, you'll probably need this. Thanks uh, for showing what up. What have you given me? No problem. Level two energy drink, not bad. All right, buddy. See you, later. Uh, you just stand there and do whatever you're gonna do. I'm gonna go save the game and end the video. Uh, this game is absolutely freaking hilarious, and although it's janky and weird and cheap and just fucking odd. It's definitely its own unique thing. This is quickly becoming one of my um one of my favorite Dreamcast games actually. I and mean, I don't think we're even that far into it, but it's just it's so wonky, it's so silly, and it's so much fun. Um and the thing is, you never really hear anything about this game. I I don't know why. Because Okay, is it, I mean, is it as good as Blue Stinger? Uh, yes, probably. I mean, Blue Stinger was a mess and hasn't really aged very well. Um, this game plays a lot better. And has, this is a more polished game, for sure. Um, Blue Stinger felt like it was thrown together in six months by some amateurs. Um, don't get me wrong, I love Blue Stinger. It's a good fun time, but, you know, let's not fuck around. It is what it is. This, <laughs> this feels like they actually really tried to, to make something here. Um, but you just don't hear anything about it. And I don't know why. I mean, it's not really up to Resident Evil. Um, but it's not a million miles away. Huh. And it only came out on the Dreamcast, as far as I, I'm aware. Huh. I think what happened with it as well is Code Veronica came out about four months after this and obviously completely overshadowed it. But if I'd had this game back in the day, I would have loved this, man. Mm. Anyway, I've got to go because we've been recording for 45 minutes. Fuck me, man. So thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.